Welcome to another Once Upon a Time reaction. Um, it's been a little while, been about a week. Um, this is going to come out a lot sooner, um, a lot later than I was hoping. Um, you may have seen other videos where I explained. I ordered an SD card for my camera because I ran out of room and it was six days late in arriving, so that was brilliant. But yeah, sorted now. Moving on. Um, I also apologise. I am sweating like a fucking bastard. Um, it is boiling hot today and I've had to close my curtains in the living room um, to get some better lighting which I always normally have to do so it is basically a giant microwave right now um, I will be crispy and golden brown by the end of this episode I'm sure so apologies um, heat makes me miserable everything makes me miserable really um, but I'm going to stay optimistic because this is once upon a time and I'm really loving this show so far I'm very excited to see what they're going to do next. Um, very interesting ideas, and I'm really liking some of these characters. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. So, episode four, let's get into it. Oh, is this Cinderella? My stepmother told me that I couldn't go. She forbade me to leave. Your stepmother doesn't have this. You can this stab one. her with it. And two more. What did you oh. do? No, no. Oh, this one. creepy fucker. There's no need to be... You can't handle this. You can't handle the truth. Do we have a deal? Yeah. Bloody terms and conditions. Yes, thank you. No one ever reads them. Oh, yeah, you made a mistake there. Avada Kedavra! Perfect fit, and yet sure somehow one still point. falls off. And doesn't disappear when the magic ran out. But those are just plot holes in the show. Can you show me the thing out in the open? I need something to call you. Oh. How about mum? Uh, um, what? All I can see is a fish and chip shop. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Bit of sexual tension? That's right, I know everything. <laughs> but relax, I don't mind. Bitch. You go? In order for something to grow, Miss Swan, it needs roots. And you don't have any. She's People don't Henry, change, they only fool themselves and enjoy your cocoa. She will. It's delicious. Fuck you. Oh, oh maybe she won't. Really? I take it back. I mean, it's still delicious. It's just Do you want room like over her. If you want to change things, you're going to have to go out there and change them yourself because there are no fairy godmothers in this world. Oh. Good little speech. Oh! My goodness. I don't think he's going to be too pleased when he wakes up. You need to see my mom. Oh. She's not your mother. She's just a woman passing through. Now do as I say or there will be consequences. I love that he calls her his mom. I'll be back at five sharp. <laughs> oh, she is. <laughs> Burn the house down. I mean, you'd arrange for a babysitter or something, wouldn't you? Mr. Lodger, it's this one here. Rumbling on and on about changing her life. <laughs> that with the knee. How are you? Okay. Good. He probably knows he's a shitster. Yeah, regards to your mother. And um, I love that he's gone to see her though. Oh, cute. I actually want to adopt this child. Do you know who that is? Please let me help. No, no, it could be dangerous. The pregnant let him is how? She assaulted Mr. Ball. Cool. This isn't a game. Oh. She's desperate. How do you know? Because I know. Well then, let's find her. Oh no 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 no. Please, there is please, no I need this. You cannot come with me. Please. Then I'll look for her myself. Then I'll find you and I'll bring you back. Then you wouldn't be helping the maid. I am just trying to be responsible here. And I'm just trying to spend time with you. Oh! <laughs> oh not fair. Precious cinnamon bean. Oh my god, I want to spread him on my toast, he's so cute! It's really interesting seeing like the princesses interact and stuff. It's not something you always get unless it's Wreck-It Ralph 2. 
So if they've all like never aged in storybook or whatever, yes. um, has she just been pregnant for years and years and years and years and years? It wasn't my fairy godmother who sent me. It's Rumble Stone Skin. I made a deal with him for this life. I was stupid. I didn't understand the price of magic. I like this so twist on um, like the classic cross? story though. Everyone thinks she's not ready to have this kid, but she's trying. Taking night classes. How about, about having a bit of fucking benefit the doubt? Together. She's running away with the baby. Yes. Sure. Inside. Well, at the minute she doesn't have much no. fucking choice. Baby's fucking everywhere. She goes. Anyone who wants to be a mother should damn well be allowed to be one. <laughs> oh, he's hoping. He's hopeful. If Henry's not in the backseat of that car. What'd she tell you? Henry! Yeah! Yes. All you must do is get him to sign the contract. Bella, this man is a So, is this how he ends up in that prison cell he was in? The pilot. She can use magic. It's coming. That's what happens when you leave Storybook. Change, and once you decide that it's yours, because running away can't happen. You have to grow up. You can't ever leave. Understand? Yes. They want my baby. Oh my god. This, this is killing me. Oh, she used to decide she wants Henry, and then I'll cry. Son of a bitch! No one breaks deals with me. I will have your baby. You know, oh. Emma. Excellent work, Mr. Uh. Thank you for bringing me so much of that. Creepy bastard. I feel like you're about to die. You're never gonna see him again. Oh In this boy. World, the next Cinderella, I will have that baby. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, I don't know just yet. Oh, you slippery snake. You owe me a favor. A favor or a fiver? Deal. Give him a fiver. Oh God. That's gonna come back to haunt you. Council meeting? Oh, and don't forget, you have your socks under the bed. Pumpkin. My code name. I was thinking in honor of What's going on there? Pumpkin. You got a better one in mind? Stop it! Oh, they're so cute. Henry! Of course, the slipper falls off like Cinderella. Is that her? No, I'm holding someone else's kid. Huh. Get a fit. Oh, Cinderella's a. perfect. No other clothes, but she's got some shoes. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. Is he the guy she was hooking up with? Because I wouldn't be okay with that. That would gross me out. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. That was my first thought. Come on, man. Have some standards. That was a really good episode. I really enjoyed that. Um, I liked the whole introduction of Cinderella. Um, Seeing her as Cinderella and her as Ashley. 
Um, did meet quite a few new characters in that. I liked the twist in the tale as well, with it being like Rumpelstiltskin who got her to the ball, as opposed to the fairy godmother who was brutally murdered. Um, I don't know if she actually was. Um, but yeah, that was very interesting. I also really liked getting to see a lot more of Mr. Gold and Rumpelstiltskin. They've kind of been teased in like the first couple of episodes. Um, so it was nice to really like get to grips with him as a character. I mean, he's creepy as fuck, but he's a really cool villain. I really like him. Um, the act is really good. The whole thing with Emma and Henry is just absolutely destroying me more and more. Um, I just think they are absolutely adorable. Um, I love their relationship so much. I hope we continue to see that develop because it's just so pure. Um, yeah, that got me excited. Um, so yeah, I liked that. I liked how the story played out. I really liked Emma um, kind of standing up for herself and things like that, standing up for Ashley. And um, the power that was between her and Ashley as characters and, you know, giving up kids and wrestling with that idea. Very cool. Um, so yeah, I really liked the backstory we got in, like, the fairy tale world and the action that was happening on um, the storybook kind of world. Was, they were both equally engaging for me. I really liked seeing both of those stories play out, obviously with like the same core character being the root of them. I don't know if we're going to like keep seeing that Cinderella and stuff. Um, I feel like her story in Storybook was kind of wrapped up quite nicely, but I imagine we'll keep seeing her because there's more they could do with like, the Cinderella aspect, and she is like one of the most famous like princesses or whatever, isn't she? Um, yeah, I just really loved everything that was going on, and that kind of last reveal at the end, um, is it Regina? Is that her name? The evil queen? I think it's Regina. Um, her and Jamie Dornan, um, I can't remember his character's name, Jamie Dornan. Um, those two are hooking up every Saturday. Jesus Christ, guys, have some respect. She's literally, oh, I love my son, I love my son, I love Henry, I love Henry, stay away from Henry. Every Saturday, she's going, pretending she has some meetings and doing Fifty Shades of Grey. Jesus. Um, yeah. I'm, I am wondering what they're going to do with that reveal. Um, that seems very strange. Um, but yeah, we'll see where they're going to go with that. I'm not really sure what they're going to, um, what they're going to do with that just yet. But yeah, a really good episode. I really, really liked it. Um, again, they're taking their time introducing these new characters and developing them. Um, I can't speak. Developing them. That's what I meant to say. Um, I really like how like carefully and considered like their stories being so far. I'm really enjoying that. Really loving the characters. Um, and they keep kind of feeding and teasing us for like the future episodes, which I really, really am enjoying. Yeah, really good episode. I really enjoyed that a hell of a lot. Um, yeah. That was quite something. That took a long time <laughs> to watch that episode. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you have no idea the pain and suffering I went through to watch this. My God, you have no idea. This was so stressful. Um, it took me an hour to watch a 40 minute episode. Ugh. Anyway. Um, yeah, an amazing episode. Really enjoyed that. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the rest of the season. Thanks for watching.